Hi, I'm Honey, and you're watching Limelight here at House Studio DC. I first saw Hooping in Richmond, Virginia by Emily Eason, and she was spinning an LED hoop, and it was definitely like the most beautiful thing I had ever seen. I started to go down to Richmond to a place called RVA Hoop House, where I met Karma Jane, who's been one of the biggest inspirations to me. And then I started watching YouTube videos, like all the time, every single YouTube video I could find. And I found Lisa Lottie, who is just an amazing hooper, really inspired, she's from France. My parents think I'm a wild child. At first, they were kind of like, what are you doing hula hooping? Like, they didn't really understand, but two or three years in, they started to see that I was really serious about progressing the dance, more so than just hula hooping. Right now, I'm trying to take it across America, so hopefully I'll be planning some festivals and do like a small tour and uh, see where that goes. I would like to join the circus. I think that would be really awesome. Going to circus school would be great. Um, that's, that's definitely a dream, yeah. perfect when you first pick up a hoop. It takes quite a while and uh, you have to keep at it and, and just keep like, keep trying over and over and over until it looks decent and then you can start getting good. But to me, it wasn't really practice, it was like fun. So I didn't really think about it too much. I really wish that when I was nine, I knew about it because I feel like if I had um, 11 years under my belt now, I can't imagine the things I would be doing that would have been awesome if I told myself at nine to start hula hooping. House!